I love these kinds of questions. And before we start, I thought I'd start the video by showing you what Mars looks like through my telescope. Now, do I think we will colonize Mars by 2050? No, I don't. I also think Elon Musk's goals of getting humans to Mars by 2030 is unreachable. And trust me, I'm not one of these people who is anti-humans going into space. I personally believe the future of the human race is in space. I just don't think we're ready for it yet. Of course, you have to bear in mind where it is in its orbit at the time where you launch your spacecraft. But the average time it takes for a spacecraft to get from Earth to Mars is five to ten months, maybe even longer. And you need to spend five to ten months in that state. You need to have enough food, water and supplies that can last ten months. Not to mention accommodate for humans for ten months. Granted, astronauts do it at the space station all the time, but not including a return journey, five to ten months is a long time to spend inside a metal box. You would need a large amount of living space. Realistically, I think we will be ready when we can cut that journey time down to one month, at the very least. And I don't just say that for human comfort. Space is a very dangerous place. You are in a state of zero gravity constantly. There is very little protection from things like solar storms not to mention radiation. And there's also the issue of how hostile the Martian environment is. The gravity on the planet is very weak. The Martian atmosphere is nearly a hundred times thinner than the atmosphere on Earth. And okay, granted, what I'm about to say doesn't happen very often, but the simple fact that it does is alarming. Every now and then, the entire planet gets wrapped up in a global dust storm. And these dust storms are not like the ones we have on Earth. These dust storms are so violent and so intense that they have been known to destroy spacecraft before. So you can imagine what they'd end up doing to human spacesuits. And obviously because the atmosphere is so thin, the pressure is so low, and the gravity is so low, there is very little force slowing these storms down, which is why they last so long. There's also the issue of Mars's climate. Once again, because the atmosphere is so thin, there is very little to stop the sun's heat from escaping. The climate on Mars, you could say, is similar to the desert on Earth. So, it's another sunny day and it will get cold at night. Only the temperatures can drop to 100 below freezing sometimes. These are the things people have to bear in mind when they talk about going to another planet. It's an unpopular opinion, but I think we should colonize the moon instead and use it as a practice. I mean, for one, it's a lot closer to the earth, so it'll be easier to transport supplies. Not to mention if we notice that it's starting to fuck up, we can quickly get out of there and get back home quickly within a day or two. Although to be fair, however small it is, Mars does have a bit of an atmosphere, whereas the moon has absolutely nothing. It's a difficult one. Like I say, I'm all for humans going into space. I want to see us colonize another planet, hopefully in my lifetime, but I just don't think the technology's ready yet.